scared all of our Mexican neighbors. <laughs> Kaminsky. What are some of the hardships of filming Tim and Katie? Well, we've had many a hardship. The first being that the cabin that we filmed in had no damn electricity. It was wired for it, but a bunch of punks broke into the cabin and cut all the wires. So we had to use a generator anytime we needed to power our lights, which was before every single interior shot. It was conveniently located in bumfuck nowhere. And but apparently, everyone there had to mow their lawns when we yelled action. It sucked filming out in the woods. I didn't get a signal for shit. Like, what was I supposed to do? It was alright. I mean, I'm better than everyone, so, you know, generally it was... I mean, naturally it was just, you know, a pleasure for them, for me to be there. Whatever, I could care less. I didn't take a shit all month. And the problem with that generator is it's pretty damn loud. So we had to work with a loud generator and all that. And it also meant that we had no AC, so everyone was hot and miserable and yelling at me a lot. Ah! Uh, other hardships of scheduling was a pain in the ass. Trying to make sure everyone had the appropriate amount of time off so they could show up and dealing with people like randomly not showing up. That was awesome. Uh, we uh, One morning we lost an actor. I won't say their name. You know who you are and you know why it happened. And then another morning our cameraman decided not to show up about the camera, which delayed us for a gentleman's four hours. So there have been a fair share of hardships to get this movie made. Been sitting around for several years just dicking around, working for a bunch of shit companies, and finally the desire to uh, be productive with my life and, you know, rally the troops and get a movie made. I can uh, not do it anymore. Yeah. Hi there. I'm director Jeff Kaminsky on Tim and Katie, a nice little love story with zombies. As you can see, I'm dressed in uh, Stephen's clothing here. I probably look like I've had one too many beers. And thin, but I'm about to be doing a no oh! the body double for Steven because he doesn't want to get shot, and I don't want my main actor getting all antsy in the pantsy and complaining all day. So I volunteered to take a paintball right here for the team. I think I'll loosen up some. Is it early for you? I'm all right. I'm talking to the camera. I'm like seven hours of sleep. It's yeah. not too bad. How did we ever get this place? It's getting really close to me. I'm scared. It's okay. We're all scared. <laughs> All right, roll it. I did. Damn it. They clip underneath the chin. Oh, they do? Yeah. Oh. You went to school, right? Like well, college? I was trying to put it around the back of my head, the base oh, of my man. skull. Yeah. Shoot him like three times. Jerry, I think you're going to need to stand a little bit further back. Uh, well, the further back the I go, the, back the, the worst accurate is. The worst his aim is, yeah. is the farther back All right. I go. like. <laughs> Oh, Hold on. Sweet. <laughs> Let's not aim at the. <laughs> Stuff it down your fucking pants. Come yeah. Come on. I'll, you I'll really? hold your you really? I don't know why he got that. Hey, come on, be a man. Put it in your pants. I didn't know that. I thought that would be easier than a clapper. Yeah, yeah. If you could just massage the ball. Shoot him directly in the ball. Run up to him and shoot him in the dick. Yeah, I'm not that. Right up in the tank. Bang! Grab his shorts. That Put it down your shorts. Steven has really long hair. Are, are you really almost <laughs> dumb? Just slide it down the front of your shorts. Outside of the boxers. No boxers. <laughs> I, I saw the outside. Is this your get, oh, we're getting this in one shot. Hey, Jungle Jane. <laughs> what are you doing? You're shaking this tree. Well, don't. You're going to shake all the ticks the out. Yeah. Part of and all the water. It's going to come onto the um, cameras. You, you're standing under it. Nuh-uh. Nothing's going to happen. I really got bit. 
I wear a tick repellent <laughs> for my perfume. Oh, okay. <laughs> is that what that is? Jesus. Yeah. It looks good. It looks good. Okay. Are you ready, buddy? We're rolling. We're rolling. Uh, hold on, hold on, Jack. Shit. <laughs> 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 coming down the creek. You wait. kidding when you said wait. Oh, I gotta get back there. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Go to your... Are you ready? Yeah. Are we recording? We're rolling. Are you absolutely sure? <laughs> yes. Ready? <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? The shot the is. is fucking killing me. I know how to shoot it. <laughs> you. Yeah. Like, shit every time. Alright, we're rolling. Ready? Yeah. Did that work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was almost too bad. Do it again. It didn't work. You hit my areola. <laughs> no, I did not. I absolutely did not. not Pull it up. Pull it up, dude. Oh, oh my man, sweet lord. Shoot him. Is it rolling? It's rolling. <laughs> Everyone, be quiet. Rolling. Hold on. Plane. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry, the gun was in the way that time. No, we're not doing it anymore. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Are you no. serious? Tell me the legend of Jeff Kaminsky. That there is interesting tale which spans almost three decades. Tell me the origin story of Jeff Grants. Um, well, he was birthed by a griffin. Started in the small suburban town of Stockbridge, Georgia, where I grew up a young lad. Not someone but of the last name Griffin, but of the ancient mythological half equal half lion creature. Lots of misadventures going on with my friends and me, howling about, causing trouble, mayhem, anarchy. I was, con I was conce conceived by that and a dragon with a beard. Destruction, lots of boozing. And then I hibernated until I was 21. You know the tale. Love, sex, drugs, destruction. That's the story. The group of actors you had, who... Tell me about them. Trent Whitmire, a man after my own heart. I didn't like any of them. I really, really hoped to adopt him one day and make him heir to the Kaminsky throne. How has that been going? Is I heard that uh, he recently moved in with you. Yeah, I took him under my wing as my ward. Uh, which one? Which one is Trent? I didn't like anyone. Not cast, not crew. I didn't like, especially didn't like the director. I mean, he's just young and he needs uh, guidance from a positive male figure. And here I am, <laughs> washed by him here. <laughs> <laughs> I look like Santa Claus. Get, get behind your ears, son. And well, don't get in my scotch. Trent, tell us what it's been like living with Jeff Kaminsky. Living with this man has changed my life. It has been a zany, wacky trip throughout everything that I hoped it wouldn't be. But he has shown me the light at the end of the tunnel and being a good friend, I guess a pretty good director. Well, I'm the, uh, I'm the first one here. No one else is here because they're all a pile of shit. Uh, I'm the last one to leave the, uh, last one to leave the house and the first one to get here. So, now Where's he just got done adding the whole thing and it's he's like gonna put it like, to make it look wicked. Really? Shoulder looks super infected. Yeah, yeah it's a little infected. Go grab one. <sighs> I think we only need a few. God, that hurts so bad. Look at that. I have cloth on my arm. Corn syrup's a pain in the ass. Oh, is that bad? Yes. But I guess, I mean, they're just going to be... Yeah, they're going to be blue. And this looks very pink now, but it's going to be all red when it dries. Uh, it gets darker. Yes. 
is because the, the latex is white when it, before it dries, and then it becomes sort of a translucent yellowish color when it when it's completely dried. So this gets a nice deep red. But what we're actually going to be seeing is the blood. Yeah, I know. It looks wicked, doesn't it? It's going to look better when, when we get the skin color right. I'm just really pissed off that it was so off because when yeah. you, once you put the grease paint on, you lose a lot of the uh, the thing that makes gelatin look so good that it really it looks like skin. You know, have not been since gelatin oh, is the pro you know, same protein that makes up skin, it makes perfect sense that it's the thing that looks most sun. realistic. Um, yeah, see, it's getting a darker the red. That looks sick. The Wesson with the sundial on the top. Who's pulling out? Oh, Mr. Roberts, or Richards, or whatever. Fuck Mr. Roberts. Roberts. That's kind of the way we're going to do it anyways, because of how you have your arm around him when he bites you. Yeah. So that works out great. It's not good. All right. How do you like this shot, Jeff? Yeah, I like that a lot. <laughs> it's so tiny. Fuck is this shit? Ah! Like it? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Mike's not in it. Yeah. No. I don't think so. Didn't look like it. Very well could be. Yeah. Is it back? Oh, jeez. Good. Let's roll. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Slate. Good. And action. You Tim Olson? Yeah. Hey, I'm Mr. Roberts. You're renting this place for me, but that's fucking bullshit. Do you understand me? What is this shit? You got a guy tied up over here. What is that? He had a No, nah, no, nah, fuck that. I'm going to tell you what it is. It's bullshit. And if I have to come back down here again, I'm not going to give you half your money back because there's no furniture. Do you understand me? Yep. Good. Now, get the come, fuck out of okay. here. Let's do it again. Fuck. <laughs> Try not to say bullshit so many times. I like bullshit. I can't help it. <laughs> I want to fucking eat your face. Come here. Close enough for him to bite me? Yeah, because you get up and you're in his face like you're like, you're like this is a piss poor life decision. Then he's gonna like that. Forward. Do that kind of gonna... stuff, and then he's just gonna lean forward and bite oh, it. Oh, like, yeah, chest. get this. Get this. This is a director actually directing. I'm actually <laughs> directing because I have crew and I can direct and work with my actors. Hey, you dumb shit! Oh, no, that's broke my clavicle. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's still in there. Yeah, come in from. Uh, I know. I only said, uh, we spoke too hard. My skin's fragile. Shut the fuck up. Where am I biting him? I mean, on the. I mean, should he just bite my finger off? You pick my neck? We all have the effects to do that. Just bite him in the chest. Like, where am I? If you can get his neck, like this region right here, it should be in the neck because. What dumbass gets that close? Do any blood in his mouth? Aw, Steven. Maybe on a. And action. Man, you are a shit excuse for a person. Man, what the fuck is all this shit? Ah, stupid motherfucker. Ah, I'm talking to you. You listening ah, to me? Ah, 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 shit! Where's that Melissa bitch? Yeah. Melissa! All right. Aaron, can you give me an napkin? Hey, hey, He's going to be yeah, right sure. there, but you're not going to be there. So. You want any more of me? No, you're good. Okay. Let's, let's oh. go through this. Trent. Uh, I'm put some blood on your shoulder. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> Do you say ew? Yeah. A, an ew is a good reaction right here. No, you, oh, we're okay. just you guys are just rolling through it, so. Yeah. No. Yeah. Come on out, Valerie. Yeah. Yeah, we're Do I have any lines? Yes. What do I say? Yeah, he doesn't want to go keep fucking biting on it. Uh, it started off him. What the hell? You're just like, what the hell? When you first <laughs> what the hell? Tim, something's seriously wrong here. Yeah, that fucker keeps biting the shit. Yeah, a little bit of that. Come on. We just pretend back yeah. to the lines. Yeah, he you are keeps biting the there. shit out of me. Dude, we need to right. soak that Katie, one. Katie, go get those bungee cords from the truck. Or in the house. <laughs> They're in the cabin. Yep. Down. Good. And <coughs> action. What the hell? All right, Tim, something's seriously wrong here. Yeah, that fucker keeps biting me. Yeah, it looks like it. All right, uh, Katie, I need you to go inside and get the bunch of horses right. in the cabin. Dude, I feel like the floor of a taxi cab. Yeah, you kind of look like one right about now. Thanks. Cut. 
What's the ETA on this? How long is this going to take? Like 10 minutes? 10, 15. Okay. Uh, right. so are we going to have me busting out yes. the door? And, like, you just the open course. the door, they bite into you. That's no, the I shot. I thought I, was, I thought I'd go outside. Oh, and then yeah, the you come out that door and like you fight Chester a second and Mr. Roberts comes out and bites you. Yep. Yep. Okay. And then we're done until nighttime and we got six scenes to shoot. Men's game! Yes! Come here. So I just got done washing all the makeup off. Um, is this after I get my wounds freshened up? Yeah, we're gonna need to freshen you up. So we need to well, actually, if it's kind of dried because you've been inside, we need to put a patch on that. And patch on this. Yeah. I'm guessing. Two patches and then we're good. I want to go back when you first met Mr. Roberts. Stephen Tukert. <sighs> See, Stephen Tukert, he can be a stuck-up little prick sometimes that just likes himself way too much. He thinks he is the god of all acting, but he is such a little shithead. I stayed away from him, with the one instance that I did happen to cross paths with him on the set when we weren't filming a scene. He started bitching and complaining. I hit him, yeah, I hit him, but there's no reason to bitch that much over me, me punching you. What was he upset about? The pain. What pain? From, from the punch. Prior to that, what was he... I didn't hear much of what he said before I swung at him. Just, when I get around that guy, it sends me in like a white-hot rage, and I can't control my fists. You can walk up to him and say, hey, good job acting today, man. You did it fucking awesome. And he will not even look you in the eye. He will think you are the most horrible person ever in acting. I recently just signed a deal with my new manager. They say he's the youngest, the youngest uh, talent agent working today, which says a lot. He's only one. That was nothing personal. I kept it strictly professional. And I told him from day one that I didn't like him and that I didn't respect him. I aim to stay out of my fucking way. Steven Toucher. Nice guy. Blonde, Aryan, asshole. Here's the water. Thank you. Uh, there's only one ice cube in this? I said three. Do I look Puerto Rican to you? He, uh, he's my co writer. Kind of wrote himself into a nice, you know, kissing scene and romance there. The kissing scene. He's he's a good actor. Uh, you know, pretty good. We practiced a lot. But he wasn't like always awake. But I practiced. Then we had uh, Jeff Grant's bear of a human being, wonderful gentleman. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but he's a cheese enthusiast. Jeff Grants is an unusual specimen. I've never seen anyone as addicted to cheese as he is. I told, it's not an addiction. It's a fondness for. Jeff, okay. Jeff has a serious problem. Like, it, it even got to the point, like it's already been affecting his family and people that he's friends with. It got to the point, seriously, seriously, one day, where you just smacked the shit out of me because I was eating some cheese? Apparently it didn't belong to me. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of actors struggle with drug problems and stuff, but uh, I gave him a cheese sandwich one day. I didn't, I didn't really think it would go as far as it did. I didn't know it was cheese. Yeah, we had a problem with old Jeff Grants. You see, that man treats cheese like your normal crack person treats crack. I mean, he goes ballistic. He has to have it. I don't use, don't use the word addiction, it's fondness. Like, I'm fond of cheese, just like I'm fond of crack. We would have, you know, our catering would bring in cheese for, like, sandwiches and stuff like that, and he would just smell instantly. But I don't have an addiction to crack. Grab the package, and anyone who had the package, and just manhandle it. And just, it, it's kind of like watching a rape. Nor cheese. Wait, what was the question? I guess he would say that it elevates his acting abilities, but it mm, just makes him look sluggish and... 
has your cheese obsession affected your relationship with your family at all? I don't know. I, I know why you're asking this, because you were there earlier, and I don't appreciate it. And I, just let me delete that. But it's all I have. You have me. We call it a day. It's basically the only reason I'm here. You got the other one behind my head? I feel about that. I would not like that at all. That's what I thought. Yeah! Hey, that's the last paper, right? <laughs> no, I gave it back to you. I gave it to someone. I don't like anybody. Everybody's stupid. I'm the only good person here. There's probably lots of spiders under there. Yeah, I'm afraid it's probably you, man. You're probably gonna die. Probably. I got boo boo. I smell the best. Right. Okay. And then we're gonna cut to the wide or I look the best. Shots. Alright, uh, what is the script real quick? Come on. I am the best. It's like the total package. You just, you know. You wake up one morning and then you realize you're not as good as me and you feel bad, but it's okay. With time and practice, you can... Well, you can't be as good as me, but... I'll let you hang around me, maybe. If you pass the test. He's gonna give his line, bam, a thousand curses on him and all you know. Should I just do that and in this shot when he shows me? Way. A thousand where, where like, this is like, she Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Her point of view, just, point point just like, whoa, Jesus, right bro, here. where'd you come from? France, it's not me. Okay. You? Yeah, okay. She'll be right here. Where'd you come from? Okay. Actually, do we want to get the... Where's, uh, just go ahead. Do you need more dirt? Good. And maybe, maybe sometime later I, on I think if the dirt could get some glass fragments in there, I was litter. thinking of a rock. Maybe some asbestos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And action. <laughs> Jesus, bro, where the hell did you come from? A thousand curses on you and I'll who know you. <coughs> oh, hello. What the fuck was that? Cut. Someone clean grants. <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs> Uh, Rance, isn't that awesome? You have like two people in charge of cleaning you. Cover a brick with dirt. And action. Go in there. No, fuck you, man. Jeez, bro, where the hell did you come from? Thousand curses on you and all who know you! 
<laughs> you know what I mean? I just saw it like powder. Yeah. It's just water. Everyone's like, you've got to push it, Trent. Can you actually, uh... Maybe next time you should do the fudge cake. Like, fudge cake meal. That'd be so much more awesome. That was just a puppet. And... action. Oh, man. Did go again? Oh, man. Jesus, bro, where the fuck did you come from? A thousand times on you! And all who know you! Really? Where are you? What the fuck was that about? Oh, dude, you got all dirty in the woods. Come on. All right, action. Oh, man. Dude. Jesus, bro, where the fuck did you come from? A thousand cases on you and all who know you. Really? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> what the fuck was that about? Was what? I haven't laughed this hard in a long time. And now I'm upset because you're here. I'm upset. Oh, God. <sighs> so what was going through your mind? While well, he was getting smacked scene. in the face with uh, dirt? Okay. Called happiness. Pure joy. Like, face. What about the headbutt to the... Uh... I was not expecting that, and it also made me laugh. <sighs> I liked when you were... He was trying to, like, shove you into the thing, but like, he can't get you. <laughs> and then I just turned around and was like, "Wham!" That wasn't playing. Not really. I wasn't expecting that. I was like, "Yeah." <sighs> I was just sort of like, "Dude, okay, I'm... grow up." <laughs> grow up. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoy the movie. We put our blood, sweat, and tears in it. A lot of blood. A lot of blood. A lot of sweat and a lot of tears. I cried a lot in the movie. It was horrible. If you ever have a chance to get a few gallons of fake blood dripped all over your body and then stuck to the floor of a dirty cabin, say no and run. It was horrible, but fun. I would always do it again any other time they asked me to. It was a fun, fun time working with all the actors. Pretty decent. And everything was just fun. I enjoyed it. And thank you for watching.